Evie, Evie, Evie. There you are, Evie. So, on today's video, we're gonna be introducing Evie to our channel. Yes, we are. We got her almost um, a month ago, and she'll be three months tomorrow, September 21st. Her birthday is June 21st, so she's a cancer. There's two Virgos in the house, so I think we can. We're pretty compatible. <laughs> um, but she has a amazing personality. She is semi um, potty trained in the house. But we can't really take her out as much because she doesn't have all her shots yet. But right now she is um, 3.1 pounds. And um, I reached out to the breeder to see how much the mom and dad weighs and she told me about nine pounds. So she might be nine to 10 pounds. So she's not a teacup, which is preferable. I like the dogs unsteppable. <laughs> it's kind of hard seeing her in certain areas when we're eating and stuff. So sometimes she does get pushed a little bit unintentionally. <laughs> but um, yeah, she's a full bred. Yorkshire Terrier and we bought her at Just Puppies in Twinbrook. It's a shop in Maryland and a shopping center and she did cost a pretty penny. I like to call it a convenience fee because we didn't travel to like Pennsylvania or even Frederick, Maryland. They sell dogs really, really cheap. Um, Yorkies start around like $1,200 but we did pay a little bit more than that because she was just so cute. We stopped by Just Puppies all the time and this was like one of those camera just like died on me. So um, where were we at? Um, so I got Evie. I just seen her. We fell in love with her. We wanted to get a boy dog originally because there's already two girls in the house. But I just wanted something different. I guess we wanted something different because sometimes girl dogs, like from my experience seeing other girl dogs, they, they tend to be a little bit more calmer than the boy dogs. They, I feel like their hormones just like overpower them and they're just so hyper. That's my experience. You may have a boy, I had a boy dog and he was just too much. So I just wanted to see what the difference was with the, was with the girl dog. And I personally love the fact how, um, <laughs> I know this is random, when you pick her up, it's not like I'm holding a thang thang. And with my Shih Tzu Dachshund, um, Nemo, it would be like I'm grabbing him. I'm like, whoops, didn't mean to touch your goods. And I don't have to worry about that with her. Um, and we wanted to get a Yorkie or a Frenchie. And Frenchies tend to cost a lot more. Like they're thousands. And this dog is like in the thousand range, not the thousands. So we're trying to be a little bit more budget friendly. And smaller dogs don't really eat as much. Um, Yorkies have like that 50-50 personality where they want attention but then they want to be left alone. I personally love that. The, when I did have my, my dog that was a Shih Tzu Dachshund, he just wanted so much attention and I feel like if you don't do your research on the breed, you're just going to have a bad experience. So that's one thing we did settle on in the what if category. Like what if we had a dog, it would either be a Frenchie which doesn't require too much attention or a Yorkie that's like 50-50 that is bouncy, but then she'll be like, all right, leave me alone. So Evie does have her moments like that where she'll just sleep all day. And I feel like maybe it's because she's a puppy, but then she'll be like really, really aggressive, ready to play and bite. The Aww. first day, come here, Evie. Come here, come here. <laughs> the first day we got her, um, she threw up on me in the car. Like, oh my gosh. It, it, she must have just ate because the food didn't even look digested. It was just like pellets everywhere on me, and which is so hot. And um, I kind of did a little bit of research about Yorkies. Sometimes they have motion sickness, especially their nerves. They're kind of like high anxiety dogs as it is. They got small dog syndrome. So they tend to, um, come here Evie. They tend to have like nervous reactions and which makes them regurgitate. She's done it about two to three times being in the car, taking her to the vet. But the last trip was pretty smooth, so she didn't throw up. So I'm hoping she grows out of it, and I'm hoping, you know, having a deal with the throwing up in the car will kind of make her not throw up in the car. <laughs> hoping and wishing for the best, right? Um, but anyways, we gave her her first bath yesterday, 
and um, she didn't like it. I mean, obviously, she's still a baby. She doesn't really know about like baths and stuff like that, so she didn't really like it like that, but we had to do it because I was just tired of her smelling like a kennel. As far as like bedding and stuff, I love the fact that she sleeps on her bed, like with my Shih Tzu, did not sleep on the bed. He just terrorized it, so. I just love the fact that Yorkies like to be cuddled. They like to be laying on clothes. Sometimes I have like clothes on the floor and she'll just like ball up in it, which is really, really cute. Um, I gave her her first haircut on the second week because I honestly did not like the way she smelled. She smelled like the kennel. Um, we gave her her first bath yesterday and yeah, she didn't like it, but uh, she came out really good. Her face is really fluffy, it's not oily. Um, her fur is black right now, but I know she's gonna gray out. Um, and then she got her nails clipped at the vet last week which saves me the trouble on doing it but um, I do feel a little bit more comfortable cutting it when it is time right now she's on the biting phase so I do have to tell her no bite sometimes I like hold her by the mouth and say no bite <laughs> but she's pretty good I actually taught her some tricks too she knows roll over she knows down she knows sit um, we've been doing this waiting trick where you put a treat on the floor and she'll stare at it and then I'll tell her go get it and then um, she'll get the treat um, but overall she's a really really good dog and I have no regrets from getting her you just got to be very very consistent on the training I also do crate training for her so that way we can house break her as far as party training we have the pee pads out and she does pee in the pee pads when we crate her but when we give her too much freedom that's when we start seeing a mess everywhere on the floor um, I use Nature's Miracle as far as the stain removal and odor removal that comes in clutch if you are in an apartment and you're trying to get rid of stains but you have to like immediately soak up the pee, spray it and then scrub it off the floor. That's what I do. Um, but other than that, she is a very, very good dog. I have to enjoy these puppy stages because as each weeks and months go by, she's going to start getting bigger and bigger and bigger and she's her personality is going to change hopefully for the better but um yeah definitely stay tuned on evie's journey <laughs> uh we love yorkie so much right now that potentially in the next two years you might get another one um so we'll see how that works out but for all of my other yorkie owners if you guys have any tips and tricks on house breaking training um favorite Yorkie's favorite treats let me know in the comment box below because um, this dog is really really picky I've ordered stuff from Chewy.com I've ordered stuff from BarkBox which I think BarkBox is so cute um, I've gotten certain things off of five and below um, Amazon as far as like the grooming table I got her a grooming table on Amazon um, I got a few stuff from food treats from the Dollar Tree. So there's different things that you can get from those stores if you just want to test it out, like dry shampoo. Like the food she's eating right now is um, nutrition, nutrition, sorry? nutri source. But I'm trying to convert her to uh, Royal Canine. I think that's how you say it. Royal Canine, Royal Cannon. <laughs> but she likes that food. Um, the the pellets are very small, so it's, it's easy for her to chew. Right now she's like sleep on me. <laughs> Evie, Evie, huh? She likes to cuddle. <laughs> and um, as far as toys, she loves the rope. Uh, I'm trying to teach her fetch. So we get like light weighted toys for her. So that way it's easy for her to carry back to us. And we just have to be super, super consistent on it. But other than that, I have a great one month experience with my dog, my Yorkie. And I'm hoping that each month that goes by will get better and better. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this information video on my new Yorkie. Till next time. Bye bye.